Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Fork Full of Noodles. I'm your host, Krish Mohan. Hey, you might notice some people laughing in the background of these episodes, and that is because this was filmed in front of a live virtual audience via Zoom. Uh, I do these shows three times a month, record them in front of a live virtual audience, uh, and you can be a part of this live virtual audience by getting tickets to one of these shows uh, where you can go get your tickets at krishmohanhaha.com. They're only $5 for one show, or you can get a multi-show pass and save uh, a, a few extra bucks. Uh, but if you become a sustaining member of this show, either on Patreon uh, or directly on my website or via PayPal or through Bandcamp, various different ways where you can become a sustaining member, you get free tickets to come to see the Citizen Revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows, which eventually become episodes of Fork Full of Noodles, which is awesome. Uh, and not only that, uh, but these shows are filmed in the River's Edge studio, which is part of the River's Edge radio network. And I couldn't be thankful for uh, more thankful for being a part uh, of the studio. Uh, the River's Edge is your place to get local Pittsburgh music from the Pittsburgh area 24-7. Just go to the TuneIn app, download that app, and look for the River's Edge radio network. It's a 24-hour stream of independent music. The radio station is independently owned uh, and is located in Pittsburgh in the heart of Millvale. So you'll be supporting an independent local radio station. So check them out. Uh, and once again, if you want to get tickets to the shows, if you want to become a patron, if you want to make a donation, uh, if you want to check out past episodes of this show, go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. Thank you very much. And now onwards to the show. Now, at the moment, there's only one white supremacist group uh, that's on the terror watch list, and it is a nationalistic Russian militia group in Ukraine. But groups like the Ku Klux Klan and the Boogaloo Boys are not, right? The Boogaloo Boys are a right-wing extremist militia group that's anti-government and anti-cop. And sure, their name sounds like a country folk pop duo boy band that, you know, probably have racist undertones with their hit singles like your white alabaster skin is all I need. But rest assured, you guys, they definitely are militia, right-wing militia with very violent intents. Now, in city after city, the Boogaloo Boys have been caught with vehicles full of assault weapons and explosives. They've also made threats of attacking and killing cops on social media that has been monitored by law enforcement. Yet, the Boogaloo movement continues to thrive with no interference from law enforcement. One of the reasons law enforcement doesn't go after the Boogaloo Boys is veterans. The Naval Criminal Investigation Service, or NCIS, says racially motivated violent extremist movements that subscribe to Boogaloo have engaged in conceptual discussions about recruiting military or former military members for their perceived knowledge of combat training. NCIS cannot discount the possibility of DOD-affiliated individuals sympathetic to or engaged in the Boogaloo movement. And this was proven in the case of Steve Carrillo, or Carrillo, a if I'm mispronouncing his name, I'm sorry. Uh, but Steve Carrillo was an uh, Air Force sergeant who was part of the Boogaloo movement, and he attacked a sheriff's office in Oakland, California. He was part of a Boogaloo social media group uh, talking about how to use the anger of the protests to kill cops. He wanted to exploit the Black Lives Matter movement to fuel the Boogaloo Boys agenda. And yet, this movement and anyone associated with it is not on a watch list. Rather, law enforcement goes ahead and uses this as an excuse to track and attack protesters. FBI agent Michael German says terrorism is distinguished from other violence by, by its political nature. And result, as a result, counterterrorism is often highly politicized. Here we're seeing this, this politici politicization of counterterrorism is being reflected in intelligence documents that are going out and are intended to inform state and law enforcement on the ground. Overall, what you see is a strange sensationalization of Antifa threats, and that doesn't exist when looking at Boogaloo documents. And look, there is a very good reason for this. 
the defund the police movement is interlinked with the Black Lives Matter and anti-fascist movements are talking about taking monetary resources out of the hands of the police, which will eventually lead to defunding the military as well. These movements are going after the one and only religion in America, money. The Boogaloo Boys and the white supremacists are not, right? They're, guys, they're just going after human lives, right? So, and why, sh why, should, why should the system care about that? Huh? Okay, you can't run the stock exchange on human lives, you guys. Or can you? Now, German goes on to say that the far-right extremists have been killing members of law enforcement uh, and the general public for decades. And these threats and acts of violence were proven to be happening at the same time as the Trump administration's crackdown on leftist activist groups. Far-right extremists have killed upwards of 202 people in America, while Islamic terror has killed 140. Meanwhile, there are no deaths in America that can be related to anti-fascists. This should easily put people in the white supremacy and far-right militias like Boogaloo higher on the terror watch list than ISIS, Antifa, and also the insane clown posse. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been your fork full of noodles for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you, you are, you're sharing this out with your friends, with your enemies, whoever you think would enjoy this show. Uh, and, and more importantly, make sure that you are subscribed, whether that you're watching this on YouTube, whether you're watching this on Facebook, listening to the audio version of this show, uh, or on rockfin.com, which is the uh, ad-free blockchain cryptocurrency site where the content creators are a part of the company. So uh, there's no censorship, there's no ads, and we're, we're all part of the family. And if you become a subscriber over at Rockfin for $10 a month, you get all of the exclusive premium content, not just for myself, but from all of the creators on Rockfin, people like Graham Elwood, Ron Placone, Kim Iverson, Jimmy Dore, a uh, ton of people that are on Rockfin. So uh, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, and once again, if you want to get tickets to these live virtual events that happen three times a month on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. You can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets and additional bonus unreleased stand-up comedy and storytelling content. Uh, you can um, also make a one-time donation. Check out all of my stand-up comedy albums. Uh, keep up to date on wh when my live shows are coming out uh, and sign up for my email list. Once again, the website is krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next week.